Our next segment is interestingly called the demonstration round. We're going to request you, Mr. Lutra, to in this round, either demonstrate a skill or, you know, um, we understand that lawyers uh, come with limited skill outside of lawyering. So if yeah, you really. <laughs> <laughs> so if demonstrable okay. skills are a problem, then if there is anything that you'd like to show us, maybe you know your favorite painting. So first, let me show you a painting. Oh, wow. uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yes, we can. Okay, now. A little bit higher, please. Okay. Can you see my signature? Yes. And the painting. And this mm -hmm. was jointly painted with a gentleman called Paresh Maiti. Oh, wow. So before you guys get impressed, look carefully. So I walked into his studio. I said, Dada, he's a dear friend. I said, Dada, what have you made? He says, this is a girl who sees her future husband. Ko hai, hai. Main ka, Dada, I'm like, Dada, you're a god. You don't say this. This is a boring thing. Young girl thinking of her future husband. I'm like, give a brush. Do. So if you look at the bindi carefully, mm -hmm. It's very badly made. If okay. you look at the sindoor on top, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. Those are the two bits I added. And sir, now a married woman is thinking about another man. Trust a lawyer to make things interesting, right? And he said, Dada, you are senior. You are senior. You are senior. You are senior. What a great job you have made. So I've done two more with him uh, okay. jointly. And the second thing uh, uh, that I'll, I'll tell you, I'm, uh, I'm one of the few, especially probably one of the only lawyers uh, in India who's had mm -hmm. an open brain surgery. I had an accident and then in 2013, uh, sorry, uh, 2010, no, before 2008, 2009, I developed a kind of a brain tumor. Okay. And it took about five years for it to, uh, it's a longest story. So finally, I had it operated in, uh, uh, in 2013 uh, okay. in Singapore. Quick bit, I'll tell you about that. Please. So one of the things being a lawyer, I read up a lot about it. Of course, it was very scary. I had two little girls and a uh, young wife, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. And uh, it is a scary thing. And it's, a, it's an open brain surgery. It's not an easy one. Uh, but I read up all about it. And it told me two things. One is connect with your surgeon. Okay. And connect with your anesthetic. Mm -hmm. So my surgeon was Dr. Hoki Hang in Singapore uh, uh, Parkway Hospital. Mount, okay. Mount Elizabeth, actually. Okay. And he was a painter himself. So we connected like house on fire. So, you know, I showed him some of my sketches and he showed me some of his and blah, blah, blah. My anesthetic was a Chinese doctor, but trained in Scotland, okay. which means zero sense of humor. I tried everything under the sun to get to her. And she was a big, solid, she was the new, new. Everything was, you know, she would just, you know, just brush me off. About sure. five days before my surgery, she discovered mm -hmm. that I was a lawyer. Okay. She was the anesthetic to Nirbhaya. Oh if you remember God. that poor girl yeah. who had that terrible uh, oh. problem. Absolutely. And she, and she passed away uh, at Parkway, at Mountie. Yes, yes. And she was an anesthetic. So she started questioning me about, so what's going to happen now and this, that and the oh. other. So I was trying to explain to her. I said, Doc, it's a concept in, under uh, criminal law. It's mens rea now. What was the intention? The prosecution yes. will prove that they were murderers or rapists. The defense will say there was no intention and it just happened accidentally. Sure. So I was trying to explain to her mens rea. She couldn't okay. understand. So then I told her, I said, uh, Doc, when you put that uh, butterfly in me and that uh, anesthesia, I have mm -hmm. about 45 seconds before I pass away. I pass out. So she said, uh, uh, yes. I said, during that 45 seconds, if I pinch your bottom, you have no recourse. No, you cannot pinch my bottom. I said, Doc, I'm not pinching your bottom. I'm just telling you <laughs> that you have no recourse. 
<laughs> Trust you to make the law very interesting so as well. So when right? when she was putting the butterfly, she said, "Okay, Mr. Luther, you have now convinced me. Please, you can pinch my bottom." I said, "No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not pinching your bottom." <laughs> <laughs> my wife's waiting outside praying that i get better <laughs> i hope okay. so it was a eight and a half hour open brain surgery so i'm wow. one of the few humans who's had his brain touch actual oxygen so like superman built power slowly slowly over kryptonite uh, i've also got some special powers so that i'll give you a demo light one go i'll just switch up here i'll just switch off and i'll show you Uh, uh, a little demo, but I'm going to have my uh, youngster hold. Yeah, can you guys see me? Yes, yes, you're, you're very visible. There's enough okay. light. Don't worry about it. Okay, yes, uh, just one second, guys. Sorry for this disturbance. Sure. Happened. Okay, just yeah. No problem. Wow. Okay. Yes, can see a part of your table now. That's visible. Now you can see my table. Yes, yes. Okay, you can see my hands. Yes. I've only got my mother's blessings here and my sister's rakhi. Okay. Uh, and my so I'll take off my watch. All right. I'm sure everyone's very curious to know what's coming up next. I Let's I see. sure am. So, like Superman flies, right? It's only been you know that not that many years. I'm still a toddler, right? In terms at of heart. supernatural at powers, heart. and at heart, at heart, I don't know. So that's my watch is off. Sure. So there's no hanky panky. Mm -hmm. The watch is there. My hands are all clean. Can you see anything in my hands? Yes. No, nothing. Anybody see anything in my hands? No, we can't. Now I'll take. Now I'll take off my specs. These are the normal okay. specs I was wearing. Okay. I'll take them off. I'll put them here, as you can see mm -hmm. them. These specs I will now bond with. i have to bond with them still okay now you might think it's static or some of that shit but see there's nothing see oh my god whoa no way see, <laughs> see? there's no thread or anything right like like there's no thread, thread. where is the thread where is the thread Okay. Where's the thread? Wow. Can you suspend them back up in the air, so, please? So, yeah, you can. It takes a lot of doing. That's why I have to put the lights off. There's a lot of power I have to put. It, it tires the hell out of me. It's not easy. Wow. But I'll try one more time. One more time of power. It takes the juice out of you. See, there's nothing. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We've always known of lawyers to be magicians. This is this is very literal. This is not magic, madam. Take a look. Love. It's science. Are you going to say it's science now? It's not science. It's pure power. <laughs> And you, madam, uh, I would recommend if your your next few questions are painful. I would recommend yeah. keep me on your dial one, okay. because I can drop your neck anytime I want. <laughs> I'll I'll keep my doctor on on speed dial in that case. Doctor, कुछ नहीं कर सकता इसमें. Superman से doctor बचाएगा तेरे को. अच्छा. I'm I'm still believing in science a little more at this point than I am in superpower. This is science. This is power. This is superpower. <laughs> I've shown it I to am, you in front of you. There's nothing in my hands even now. This was this was indeed very fascinating. And these but, are my uh, normal specs. These are not, you know, some drama wala things. And if it's static, you oh, couldn't fly in the air. 
but later offline you must tell me what you did okay you you don't need to I've reveal it to you. everybody i've told you all and i've shown it to you kaise tum log are you a lawyer as well i have trust issues what can i say yeah yeah you're a skeptic <laughs> it's part of my qualification i'm sorry and that's a manufacturing so defect you. That's a Thank manufacturing you. defect. That's a Absolutely. manufacturing defect, and your warranty period is over. <laughs> Absolutely. So, thank you for showing us the painting. Thank you for showing us your superpower. This was very, very fascinating. We are now going to move on to the next segment, uh, which is going to be painful for you because inherently, as a lawyer, uh, you're not very used to being impulsive. Uh, I know that that lawyers love deliberating, and I'm not going to give you any time to deliberate. So, are you ready? Lutra, yes. <laughs> can you can you explain that joke, please? I'm not from uh, 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 Andhra Pradesh. Andhra from Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh, I'm not a ready. Not I'm a Lutra. Okay. So, are you ready, Mr. Lutra? I am ready. That is good to know. So now you are from Andhra Pradesh. Moving right on to the most interesting segment, we believe, called the interrogation. Okay, this is a time cap, so you can't take very long. You have to say the first thing that comes to your mind, and we need you to be fast-paced and impulsive. Is that okay? Okay. Two four. Let's start. Who is Rajiv Lutra in just three words? Committed. Humble, witty. Well done. Next question. Oh, You're going so to be wait, much... wait, wait, wait. I want one more. Father, brother, and son. Oh, that is lovely. Okay, thank you. Moving on. You're going to be marooned on an island with three people and three things. Who are the three people you're going to take, and what are the three things you're going to take? Please tell us. I would take uh, my two daughters. Uh, Sana and Arshia, and my wife. Okay. And I need a fourth instead of the three things. I'd want a fourth person, a masseuse. <laughs> Fair given. And that's a, that's that's on a straightforward thing. But ideally, now that I'm thinking, I'd like right. to have uh, Donald Trump, Putin, and Houdini. Houdini with one set of powers. Extra, which is a three-star Michelin chef, <laughs> and a masseuse, because Houdini so, would get rid of uh, Trump uh, and Putin, make the world a better place, cook for me, and the masseuse would be there, and I'd be fine. Wow, you've really got this figured out. Well done. Moving on to the next question. On the personal front, what is your argument style? Are you assertive, aggressive, or passive? Where in court or at home? At home, I'm totally on the personal passive. front. Your passive personal front, totally passive. Gayatri, passive. Gayatri mantra. Because your wife's name is Gayatri, we get the That's pun right. there. Well done, well That's done. Right. Okay, and and who wins those arguments? She. Well, hey, 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 what do you mean? It's it's she always, uh, never me. Just wanted to clarify. I was pretty sure it's her. Okay, moving on to the next question then. Are you governed by logic or by your heart when you're making decisions? I, on a normal management etc. basis, I'm governed by my heart, my okay. family, all that. But at work, logic is a very crucial part of my system and my being. Sure. In fact, uh, Delhi University we used to have a sub uh, in logic. I topped it. Okay. Uh, that it's uh, deductive and inductive logic, both are very are my favorite subjects. Okay, so in, on the work front, it's logic. On the personal front, it's your heart that's sort of taking the call. On the management side of the work front, also it's heart. It's your heart. Okay. Okay. Yes. Fair. Thank you. Moving on to the next question, very quickly. If not a lawyer, you would be a dash. Neil Diamond. <laughs> Okay then, moving on. If you could be anyone in the world for one whole day, who would you be and why? One person, one whole day. Mm -hmm. I'd be J R D Tata. Okay, that's lovely. To make and LNL, why? 
and make LNL into a Tata enterprise. That is a beautiful thought. And take all his wealth and transfer it to my personal account the same day. <laughs> That is an even more beautiful thought. Okay, I, I was hoping you were going to bring in the entire CSR angle, but but you know we've moved far away from that. So moving on to the next question, how much did you receive as your first paycheck? As an article clerk, uh, it was one hundred and twenty rupees. One hundred and twenty rupees, and what did you do with that money? Uh, went with a lady, uh, sorry, a girl from. Um, Miranda House for a movie to okay. Archana Cinema and then uh, went and had some Chinese at uh, the Taipan restaurant in uh, the Obroy. Oh, lovely. And oh. got pretty much rid of my 120 rupees because my motorcycle fuel was also counted for. So you blew that up very quickly then? Yes. Okay, well done. The next question then. What has been your proudest moment on the personal front, Mr. Lutra? Mm, the arrival of my two daughters, Sana and Arshia. We can imagine. Okay. Next one. Show us a funny meme or message that you've received on your phone today. Today? Yes. Oh, well, yesterday is okay too. Like in the last 24 hours, basically. I have I've got one. This is this is actually the state of my mind. Uh, oh, where did it go? And a lot of people on this. Webinar will identify with this one for sure. OK, let's see. I'm just trying to find it. Sure. Can you guys see? There's Batman and Robin. Okay. And Robin says, join us for a webinar. <laughs> <laughs> and Batman slaps him. <laughs> Absolutely. Very, very relatable. <laughs> I'm, this I'm is a just friend hoping... of mine from Singapore who sent it to me. I'm just hoping no one had this reaction when we set up this webinar with you. That's all I'm and hoping. I for. certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did. Okay, moving on to your next question. What is your weirdest habit, Mr. Lutra? Uh, weirdest habit. One second, let me get the lights on again. Uh, sure. You guys can see me, I think. We can, but it'll be good to have the lights on. Please feel free. Yeah, I'll just do that. I think my weirdest habit would be that lights on otherwise. I love to win both sides of the argument. Okay. Can you explain that a little bit? So if I'm winning one side, then I lose interest. Okay. Then I jump on the other side and win that too. Okay. So you're, you're basically saying your weirdest habit is winning. Is that yes. what you're saying? Okay, well done. Weirdest habit, both sides of the argument is not easy, but I, I, I create and that's what helps me also professionally because then I think of how the opposition is thinking. Correct. Or you're the able opposing to lawyers perspective. thinking. Correct. Yeah, so, so that's so. a, the people think it's a very weird habit, especially at home because they say you're crazy coot. You're going nuts, blue in the face, arguing about this. And suddenly you've changed that completely. <laughs> you switched it to the other side. Okay, well done. The next question. Whom do you call maximum number of times in a day on a regular work day? Not right now. You know, the lockdown is an exception. On a regular work day, wherever I am in the world, uh, it's a young lady called Jennifer, my executive assistant, who's been with me now nearly 30 years. She wow. gets about 17, 18 calls, uh, maybe 15 calls a day. Okay. Because Jennifer. I bark at her, I bark at her and I put the phone down. <laughs> then I've forgotten to do the full bark, then I go back again and bark the rest. <laughs> do the bark some more. Okay, fair, fair. Okay, so Jennifer. I told her one day she got very angry with me and I said, Jennifer, don't worry. 
I called her Betty and she calls me Mr. Luther. Imagine after 30 years. I said, Betty, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, next 26 January, keep yourself free. She said, why? I said, because you're going to be given an uh, elephant ride as the bravest person on earth on, the, on Republic Day. <laughs> Having <laughs> suffered me so many years. <laughs> fair, fair. Okay. Well done, Jennifer. Shout out to you if you're watching. Moving on to the next question, Mr. Lutra. Can you cook? And if you can, what do you make well? You know, I, uh, I'm i not a detail, heavy-hitting, pasanda type cooker, but uh, I cook. Uh, and my elder daughter will always say, I want to eat pa what Papa is eating because he's, uh, I'm a, she claims she's a two-star, she also cooks, that she's a two-star Michelin and I'm a three-star Michelin chef. Okay. So I like to do very simple things. For example, mm -hmm. try this. Okay. Take uh, some sliced tomatoes, right. uh, saute them lightly in olive oil, Okay. put a bit of garlic and ginger on top of it and let okay. that ginger and garlic get a bit brown. Mm -hmm. Just take that and put it on toast. Fantastic. And that's it. Try it. Second, dessert. Very simple. Vanilla, normal vanilla ice cream with a okay. bit of bon vita. With bon vita? Just okay, try it. It is, it is a three-star. Both these are three-star Michelin. Very simple. Okay, There's we'll no big deal on them. Try. You will definitely try both. Thank you for sharing them. Who thought that a lawyer would be giving us recipes today, right? So, thank you. Moving on to your next question. And I, this is my personal favorite. You, you're allowed a couple of seconds to think this through. You're stuck in an elevator with three other lawyers whose faces you can't see. What do you say to them? How do I know they're lawyers? I'm telling you they're lawyers, Mr. Lutra. Have some faith. I can't see them. So, oh, they are all sucking at lemons. <laughs> now, what are you going to say to them? I just introduce myself and say, I'm a lawyer, the biggest in India. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Nicely done. Moving on to the next question. One subject in law school that you hated? Hated? Oh, UP land laws. UP land laws. Okay. All right. The next question then. One lawyer you've interacted with where he or she has just blown your mind. So my guru, uh, uh, like I told Vikas that uh, I never had a senior. I've never worked for any lawyer in my life uh, till now. Uh, but I had to follow somebody. I had to follow some example. Right. So I discovered a gentleman called Fali Nariman. Okay. And uh, I would go when I was free, I'd go and just sit in court and hear him argue. You know, those days there was no Google. There was hardly any uh, television. Right. I'd go if there was a seminar, I would hear that he's speaking. I'd go and I just followed him, uh, you know, like a puppy. And uh, after nearly four years, I'd never met him. After nearly four years, I happened, I had a chance meeting uh, on a Singapore Airlines flight. He was coming from Australia. I was flying from Singapore to Delhi. Okay. And he happened to be sitting across the aisle to me. But I was so tired that when I got into the plane, I didn't notice him. He and his wife, Babsy, I went okay. to sleep. When I woke up, we were about to land in Delhi. And there I see Mr. Nariman. Then, of course, I went up, I chatted with him, and I told him that, sir, is my, you know, my guru, this, that, and the other. And he was very gracious. And uh, so I said, no, no, let me carry your bag. I didn't, uh, let me carry your bags. How can you carry? I didn't realize he had four bottles of whiskey. So, <laughs> and I had two of my own. <laughs> so, uh, I have a bit of a bad back since then. But uh, I carried it and we chatted. And then I got the chance of appearing, uh, uh, briefing him in a matter of one of his friends who had hired our firm. And I promise you, I was actually, I'd heard he threw files and he got angry and, you know, he did all those kinds of things. Uh, and I had one of the uh, two youngsters with me. I had a Maruti 800 those days. Okay. And I put those two youngsters in the car and went to Fali's house and the client arrived directly. Sorry, just to back up a little bit. So I was Please. told to go to Fali's uh, to brief him the day before. 
and I wanted to find some reason not to go. I said, no, no, uncle, I'm very busy. I can't go this, that and the other. Can we do this another time? Hoping that Fali okay. will not give us time. He gave us a time the next day. I okay. promise you, uh, Tanisha, when I was driving, I was hoping my car would hit a tree or a bus would run over us. All those kind of things came to my mind. Why, why, went, why though? I was just shit scared of being exposed as an idiot. Because, you know, he would, he has such a larger than life uh, persona. So when I went and sat with him, so there was about 700 pages. All night I had studied each point, marked everything, every possible question he could ask me, I was ready. But I was so nervous that he said, why are you doing this? Why are you using ICC, for example? Or why are you using ABC? So I would try to open that page. It would take some bites. Are you hurry up? Huh? Why are you not opening the page? What are you going to keep a secret from me? So two, three times he said it. Then I lost it. I said, will you wait a minute? It says 900 pages. I, I'll take me some time. He said, oh, this, this fan of Punjabi will eat me up. Yeah, yeah, please open, please open. Oh, then I'm happy to tell you when we finished that um, and what pearls of wisdom I got, I came out. And he came to the gate, and if, if there are lawyers listening to this, or brief Fali, the, I don't think he's ever been to drop anybody else to the gate of his house downstairs. Oh, sure. His chamber is upstairs. He okay. comes to the gate, puts his arm around me, and tells my client, who's a friend of his, that you are in a very safe pair of hands. I get into my Maruti 800, drive straight to the Delhi Golf Club bar, and we drink a whole bottle of whiskey. <laughs> to celebrate the validation you received from Mr. Fali my He shouted me, my kids will go back to the office and say, Mr. Luther is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well done. So, so you're saying he's, he's an a lawyer amazing that... human being. Amazing human being. So he's and a lawyer you lawyer. met who really blew your mind, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sharpness the, and the way he'd pick up things and the way he'd give solutions, fantastic. That's great. Thank you for sharing that little snippet. Moving on to your next question. What is the one thing that you're really bad at doing? There has to be something that you're really not very great at doing. What is that? I'm terrible at uh, seriously listening to somebody who keeps repeating themselves. I just can't handle it. I'm very impatient and I can't suffer fools easily. And it shows in my face. Okay. Nice. Thank you. The next question then, name, can you name three books that you really recommend for law students to read? I'm sure we have a lot of students logging in today. Something for them to take away, please. Oh, they must read this book, Why Zebra Does Not Get Ulcers. Okay. It's by and Robert then... Sapolsky. Okay. Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers. Because, you know, we... Again, we take our life so seriously. See, a zebra, when a zebra normally ghas khata hai and okay. hangs around girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever way he swings or she swings, right. uh, rehte hai. the only stress time comes when there is a tiger or a lion chasing them. Correct. So his only one thing to do is to run faster. Correct. So he gets no ulcers. In our life, we have 50,000 50, ways to go. We stress ourselves. We psych okay. ourselves. You must read this book. Okay. That's one. The okay. second Thank book, you. all of you, I think not only lawyers, but everybody should read is Getting to Yes. This is my first okay. professor at Harvard Law School, Roger Fisher. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing book. Simple, Getting to Yes. When and you what negotiate, is this one about? It's negotiation. How do you Negoti negotiate and get the whole story to yes? Got it. And of will course, it, the third help? one. Sorry? Will it also help our non-lawyer friends, say, in their personal space? Everybody. You know, with business everybody. and such. Okay, okay. Everybody. Everybody. So it will help and me negotiate with my lawyer husband as well, I'm hoping. Oh, poor chap. Don't tell him about the book. He'll lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, well, on, on second thoughts, he'll lose anyway. <laughs> How the I wish you were book, like, the, third, the third book I would suggest would be uh, the Argumentative Indian by Amartya Sen. Sure. It tells you about public discourses, about the history of India. It really opens up 
a whole lot of uh, avenues in your mind, widens your horizon deeply. Okay. And, okay. you know, from all this, Godi, I mean, this media and all the stuff that we are bombarded by. Uh, it, it's really yeah. a great book again. That should be read. I think. Those okay. three I would recommend strongly. Thank you. Thank you for recommending those. The next question, one deal that you've worked on, uh, the thought of which gives you an adrenaline rush even today. So this is, I think, 99 or 98, or maybe a little bit later, uh, a little bit later, uh, later, 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 20, 2005, 2006. Okay. Uh, there's, a, there's a company called eBay. Right. Their managing director in India was arrested. All right. And I get a call. Uh, the, the arrest was on a Thursday. On a Thursday evening, I get a call uh, from Meg Whitman, who was the... Uh, uh, the president of the uh, of the company at that time, saying that, look, my guy has been arrested. Can you sort it out? And I said, look, I'm not a criminal lawyer. Uh, in fact, to be fair to all, I hope my client is not listening, but I had never seen a bail application. Okay. Forget drafting one, forget arguing one. And the courts were closing on Friday. All right. So all the seniors, the uh, uh, God bless his soul, the Arun Jaitis of this world, all of them were going out of town for their chuttis. So, sure. luckily, I had that stature and connect that I requested them to stay, and they. Uh, I said, "I need you for three, four days," and they all stayed on. <laughs> it was one of the. It was not one. It was the first case under the new Cyber Act. Wow. So there was not much knowledge around, Correct. and no we, appeared on, we appeared in Patiala House for the bail. Uh, okay. I promise you, I don't mind saying it. Uh, uh, to an open audience, I didn't know how to enter Patiala House. And I was the lead counsel. Oh my God. Anyway, read up the law, mugged it all up, went there, briefed Mr. Jaitley, briefed uh, Dada Mathur, uh, Dinesh Mathur, briefed Amarjit okay. Singh Chandok, briefed Fali Nariman, briefed Harish Salve. Okay. And all of us went. And this whole galaxy in Patiala House, and it's unheard of. There was a lady judge who heard us, and uh, I won't give you the details of the case too much, but I'll tell you so, bits and please. pieces. The so. case was really that there was a DVD, a uh, pornographic DVD, that was sold on eBay with the title, okay. DPS Girls Having Fun. Okay. It was an MMS, which somebody had created into a DVD and sold it on eBay. Okay. The, the daughter happened, the girl happened to be uh, a general's daughter and the boy happened to be uh, a police commissioner's son, both minors. So there was a lot of pressure that kuch to attack karna hai, kisi ko to pakarna hai. So they arrested the eBay head. So, so we, by then I had read up uh, properly and I had understood that bail is a right and bail can only be denied and you know, if you're going to tamper with justice or run away, etc. Sure. So we go and appear, we explain to the judge and the judge said, come after lunch. Now, can you imagine this galaxy? I'm holding them for lunch. So that's where your outside the box thinking comes in. I know all of them love chart. So one of my youngsters, I told him, bhaag ke jau, uh, uh, Shah Jahan Road, chart leke ya, alo ki tikki aur ye sab leke ya. Okay. So we sat in the foyer of Patiala house and had chart, waited for the recess and came back and bail denied. Uh-oh. Now we had a chance where I was told by our seniors that you have to now go to the Metropolitan Magistrates Court where Tisazari, you'll get at least one more chance. Okay. I said, there's no point because the Metropolitan Magistrate does not understand internet. Of course, the judgment said uh, the documents they have submitted are unsigned and not even confirmed by internet. There's a judgment. Oh, okay. So I said, he won't understand or she won't understand. There's no point. Let's go to High Court. High Court was on vacation. Justice Vikram Jeet Sen was the judge, the vacation judge. Okay. The courtroom was full, packed. It was a huge, you know, the press was all over the place. and everybody was there. So uh, Dada Mathur stands up. Uh, Nariman Saab was a bit late, so Dada started. And uh, he started getting very technical. So I pulled his gown and I said, uh, Lordship, I'd like to address the court. So Justice Victor Beatson, who knew me a little bit, said, oh, very good. Uh, I'll give you leave. Please go ahead. I just thought you'd come here to scare me. I said, no, no, sir, I'm not coming here to scare you. I said, sir, you have a notice board outside your courtroom. That notice board 
is owned by the Delhi High Court Bar Association. And the president of the Delhi High Court Bar Association is Amarjit Singh Chando, who was on my extreme left. Sure. Because he was the junior most out of the rest, and I was the junior most. So he was on okay. my left. I said, your wife comes to uh, have lunch with you regularly. And she uh, looks at, passes the notice board. She's a car for sale. Plucks the notice, has lunch with you, and buys the car. The car is stolen. Who will you arrest? The guy who sold the car? Your wife? Or the guy who owns the notice board? Of course, Amarjit looks up at me and says, Oh, my wife is stolen. I who will you arrest? You have arrested the guy who owns the notice board. He doesn't know DPS girls having fun is playing holy. Okay. I said, secondly, sir, let's invite the uh, uh, investigation officer. Let him tell us if he needs uh, any further uh, questioning. Sure. If this guy can run away, he's an American citizen. And if he uh, can tamper with justice. If sure. answer is no to all three, I must get bail today. Bail, correct. Prior to that, all the seniors said it'll take 15 days minimum. That essay hota hai. That is one statement I can't stand. Essay hota hai. I said, Hamsa, vakile kaan likha hai pandra din? We got bail on Monday. Oh, wow. Nice. Moving on to our next question. Thank you for sharing that snippet. Moving on to our next question. What would you be like to remembered as? To be remembered as? One who was fair, who was just and enjoyable. Okay. Nice. Fair, just and enjoyable, right? Yes. Okay. Lovely. And now the last question. Having been our debut guest today on Unsuited, and thank you. Thank you very, very much for taking up the invitation. Who would you recommend as our next guest and why? Next guest. Zia Modi. Okay. And why? Uh, Zia is one of the more focused people. Uh, I've known her for nearly 35 years plus. Sure. And one of the more focused people uh, in many, many ways. She's even focused when she's eating eggs, for example. Uh, but she's also, you know, one of those people who loses time. I remember once she called me at 2.30 in the morning. And without saying, hi, Rajiv, this, that. Ah, Rajiv, uh, tell me, uh, is, 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 is SIAC rules or is ICC rules? I said, SIA, it's 2.30 in the morning. Ah, you were sleeping. I go, what do you think I was doing? Taking my pet bug for a walk at 2.30 in the morning? She says, oh, now you're awake. Huh? Now tell me. That is SIA. <laughs> Yes, Once and she is away, so, true. Yeah, yeah, she is an amazing lawyer, amazingly focused, and she'd be an interesting one too. And I would like to come and do this uh, this last part with her. <laughs> Done. Can we'll you take you up me? on the offer. We'll take you up <laughs> on the offer. And you're right; she is very charming. And we truly hope that after this uh, webinar, you send her a message and say, "Get unsuited." I will tell her right now. Lovely. Thank you. But thank jokes aside, you. thank you very much for your time, Mr. Lutra, for your candidness, for your honesty, for all the regaling laughter that you've thrown our way in the last hour or so. We truly, truly appreciate you making the time. And uh, yes, we, we, we hope to, you know, engage with you in a different way, perhaps on another episode of Unsuited. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I thank also enjoyed it. It was fun. I'm glad. Thank you. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Have a lovely evening, Mr. Lutra. Bye, see Thank you. Thank you, you too, all of you, please. Thank you. Are there any questions or anything? Or should we just sign off now? Uh, are there any questions that we want to take? Uh, Varkha, Neha, Shreya? Yes, so we do have a few questions here. It's already uh, 6.30. And I think we'll end up going longer and longer. They were more kind of technical, low questions. Okay. okay, so we'll avoid the technicalities. We'll just stick to to the more fun aspect. Yeah. I can ask one generic question. Happy to answer that and let's close. We have so, four minutes because, to go. Can we take a generic question, please? Hmm. What is the future of third-party funding and arbitration in India? 
Uh, third party funding is a definite reality. Uh, we are, a lot of our rules are uh, very archaic. Uh, you know, for example, soliciting, for example, advertising, same thing with third party funding. I am very strong proponent of third party funding because I believe it, it helps with access to justice. So if you look at the logic of it, it makes all the sense in the world. It only, we need to have it with some checks and balances. So you don't have ambulance chasers uh, developing. So there needs to be some balances for that. You don't have to have a lady who drops hot coffee on her thighs while driving through a drive-in and gets $5 million. Uh, that sort of uh, situation, we need to have some checks and balances. Otherwise, uh, it's a reality. It's going to come. In arbitration, it's almost there. Oh, brilliant. Super. Uh -huh. Thank you for asking that. So, so I think that's all we have time for. And okay. uh, yes, thanks everyone for watching. Thank you, Mr. Lutra, for joining us today. Enjoy your Thank Sunday you. evening. Bye, sure, everybody. All of you have a good Thank time. You. Bye, bye. Thank you. And we will get you to get Zia on board for us. I think an interrogation between you and Zia would be phenomenal. She will never agree. <laughs> tell her I said that. Tell her I said that, then she'll come on board. You're, you're basically doing for an open challenge, aren't you? You know exactly how this is going to work. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, Bye. Cheers. Thanks Bye -bye, a lot. All. Bye.